Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you shutting off the speakers? You can't stand the monitors? Nah, you all good. Fuck. At first, I thought I fucked the up my monitors. Shit playing. <laughs> man, oh man, it's time though. Again. Yes, sir. It's Trey's corner. Hickory dickory dock. My girl likes to goggle on top. With Playboy Trey. Yeah, nigga, I took your liquor. <laughs> ah, Trey, what's going on, man? Fellas, good to be back, man. I feel like I'm back home again, man. Every time I get on with y'all, I feel like I'm back home, man. Th- thank y'all for welcoming me back home, man. No doubt. Right, Thanks sure, for man. coming home, man. How's how's right, that sure. how's that fan of day thing going? Man, you know, the, the, the fan of day thing has been going real good, man. I just dropped the second segment of it uh, last Wednesday, man. It was uh, the first one was me out there in Vegas. Uh, you know, I had met a limo driver, was playing some of my music. The, the the second one I did that just dropped Wednesday it was me running up at some folks at a local at a local grocery store at the Kroger. <laughs> uh, they ran up on some folks, man, outside. Ran up on a couple motherfuckers on the on the goddamn bread and chips aisle, and just played my music for them. You know, trying to just gain a fan day. And I got I got some real interesting shit getting ready to come up. You know, some different people that I met as far as gain a fan day, man. So it, it's been a blessing. Like it was a it was a good concept that was passed on to me. By you know by Maurice Garland man and it's been going really well man. People yeah. giving us good feedback from. Him. No doubt man. You that got a mixtape coming out pretty quick, right? Oh yeah, got that liquor store mascot getting ready to drop. So that's, <laughs> yes, that's just sir. like some of the stuff that I'm doing to you know put more attention on liquor store mascot. A lot of people after I did the Goodbye America CD last year, a lot of people been checking for the new project which is liquor store mascot. So I'm just uh, I actually was gonna drop it this month, but. I held off just a little bit to get some more attention on it to make sure everybody's eyes and ears are where they need to be. And that's okay. on what the fuck I got to say when Lucas Stone Mask got his, his the motherfucking streets, the internets, and the stores. Oh, yeah. No doubt, man. That's good shit. Man, oh, I appreciate shit. it, man. I'm out here trying, man. I'm out here. You know, you know these days you got to come up with innovative ways to get people to pay attention to what you're doing. No doubt. You know, every, I mean, everybody's got music, but what else can you bring to the table? So. That, that's the stuff that I'm trying to put into play and implement as far as my situation nowadays. No doubt. I don't, I don't know a single person that's trying to get one fan a day, at least a fan a day. That's who's it, busting man. his that's ass. Nah, that's good shit. That's work. That, that word of mouth. Hell yeah. All that shit works, man. That's, <laughs> that's a good way to go about it. But, man. Trying to pop it out. That's <laughs> it. But, yeah, we here right now, man. We got more questions. Let's do it. Hey, let me ask y'all folks, how y'all doing? Because y'all always ask me, how y'all brothers doing? Y'all good? Yeah, we doing good, good, man. We doing, you know, we doing straight. We drinking, feeling right, paying off debts, all that good shit. So we right. Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) I I, I know the feeling. I'm paying off debts my goddamn self. (laughs) I feel that, man. I'm going to kick it off, though, man, with a... A piece of advice, and I like to smoke, so I can kind of relate to where this cat was coming from, man. Dude said, what up, Trey? He said, I have a problem, and I can use your advice. My best friend and longtime smoke buddy has developed a weird-looking bump on his mouth. I don't know how to go about telling him that I can't smoke with him anymore. To make things worse, his connect is better than mine. He always gets the better weed than me. Help me out, bro. This situation is killing me. That's Drew from Cali. Oh, man. Damn, Drew. (laughs) Take that uh, shit deep. Man, if, if it's truly your friend, it's best to be honest no matter how much it hurts. You need to let them know, like, look, bro, you know, you know I fuck with you, right? And you fuck with me. We close, right? We cool. <laughs> smoked a lot of blacks together. Smoked a lot of hams together, right? You're probably going to be like, yeah, we cool. Yeah, I know we cool. Well, look, what's that fucking goddamn egg glass shit on your motherfucking mouth, man? <laughs> I know you see it when you wake up in the morning, motherfucker. Do you not look in the mirror every day? Like, have you gone through life the past month not looking in a fucking mirror? You need to correct that shit. And I'm going to keep smoking the good weed, so I need to connect. And you're going to keep buying it. I'm going to give you my portion of the bread. We're going to get it. But I'm not smoking shit with you until you go to a clinic. I'm going to put some, put something on that motherfucker. Some kind of oil, ointment. I don't know what you can put on that shit, but you need to get something on it. Man, he Stop said it. just run it. Gorilla style, dude. said you're going to keep getting a good tree, <laughs> but you're going to take that medicine. I feel that, man. Hey, yeah. yeah, he needs to tell him, like, because... It's not my fault that you got all kind of shit going. You got all kind of mold and shit got there protruding up on your lips. That ain't my goddamn problem. You know what I'm saying? So I need to keep getting a good smoke. Like, put some put some Blue Star ointment, something on that motherfucker. I don't know what he can put on that shit. Some Neosporin, put some, some alcohol, peroxide. Do something, motherfucker. Yeah, some fucking Use icy hot that something. shit will work. That but get up. that shit the fuck off of there and see a doctor, see a physician soon. <laughs> He's silly, man. 
right. Good shit. I hope I don't ever have to go through that, though, man. Seriously. Hey, man, like, I, I hope you don't either, man, because that, that shit, I ain't gonna lie, man. That, that like, first, you be concerned about your friend. And I know it's hard to tell friends stuff. You know, I had a best friend, who, you know, at one point in time, I think he just felt like, you know, that he didn't have to take showers no more. <laughs> that motherfucker was thinking like a motherfucker. I finally had to tell him. I said, look, dog, you get in my car. My goddamn car seat smell like ass for 10 days after you get out this motherfucker. Now, we're not going to be hanging if you ain't out here washing your ass and taking showers. Oh, I can't man. hang with no musty motherfucker. That ain't how I do it. We friends, clean yourself up. And since then, that motherfucker has probably been the cleanest motherfucker walking on earth. <laughs> <laughs> My head hurts. <laughs> I right, said, Drew from Cali live by that shit. Yo, the next uh, one, Mac, you gotta read this one because you. Why do I gotta read it? Because you white. Oh, it, it's, it applies. You, you gotta do it, man. Look, this Go don't ahead. apply to me, Trey. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there, and for anybody... Okay, we're going to throw that disclaimer out there. Yeah, I'm putting it out there, man. This don't apply to me, because I've never, ever, ever had the desire to say what this fucking idiot desires Except to say. Except when you in the car by yourself <laughs> listening to NWA. Yeah, that don't count. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. Go Here ahead, goes, man. <laughs> what up? What up, Playboy Trey? I'm the lone white boy in a group of six or seven black dudes and I hang out, that I hang out with. Is there a way for me to say the N-word without actually saying it? And being offensive, I want to fit in. That's Mike, yeah. Mike from Jersey. Oh no, Mike! First off, you a dumbass. You a dumbass, Mike. Let me tell you. Okay, if you don't use nigga, first off, no, you can't use nigga. Niggas, okay, you already know niggas off limits. At least you're smart enough to know that. But you want to use an alternative for nigga? Let's run down some alternative for nigga <laughs> and see what goddamn Mike could be you. How about hey, what's up, spooks? How about oh, oh How about shit? Coon? Oh. How about, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's run that down. Let's <laughs> Go ahead and shout out Coon the next time you walk up to all your black friends oh. and see how that far gets. Call Jesus them some niggas. How about, hey, what's up, niggas? See if that shit <laughs> you works for you. That. I mean, what, what is the fucking alternative? And for one, why do you have to use the word nigga or a word like it, a racial term, uh, uh, and should I say a degrading racial term, <laughs> to fit in? If you a cool motherfucker, you gonna fit in just because you cool. But if you gotta try to fit in, you need to get your ass out. Cause you ain't nothing but a square trying to fit in a circle. And remember, I told you that. <laughs> no, man. Yeah. That's real shit. That was hot. No, cause you know the, the popular one now is Ninja. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People loved it. I've heard many exactly. white people use Ninja. They throw it in there. That's the same fucking thing. But, a nah, word is a word. See, they, they trying to get off on a technicality. Why can't you just say, dude, it. you're my homeboy, dude. What's up? Why can't you just fucking say exactly. it? Exactly. People just want to fit in, man. That's all. Fuck. Man, Jesus. You know, and, and I, they don't, I, I can't, I can't knock, you know, I can't knock them, but I mean, it was times that, that I was ignorant towards, you know, other races, like until I got a, a close friend of mine who was Asian, to be perfectly honest, I used to call all Asian people Chinese. Uh, what's up, old Chinese nigga, nigga, Chinese, Chinese? But then when I got cool with a dude who was Asian, you know, I started using the term Asian, you know, because he's not Chinese. Everybody ain't fucking Chinese. You know what I'm saying? So I was ignorant in in that way. But when somebody truly your friend and you like, sometimes it takes to get into those circles and get to know people of different races and get cool with them to really realize how certain shit affects them the same way those slurs or different things affect you. You know what I mean? And I corrected that. And from that point on, I never used, you know what I'm saying? I never, I used to always say, got that one of that Chinese motherfucker over there. Everybody not Chinese, man. Everybody, like, all, all Asian people are not Chinese. I corrected it. So what, what was his name again? Mike? Mike from Mike, Jersey. Mike, you need to get, get it together, man. What, what's some, go look up every racial term you can think of that got to do with niggas. And just, just use all of them next time. Just get your shirt done with all of them on it. Oh, and then just pull up to the next time you hang out with your, all your black friends. Just, just come hang out. Just show up at the bar with that shit on. And see how that far, see how, wow. how far that shit gets. Yeah. Man. Do that. Oh, 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 oh. You trying to get Mike fucked up? Man, I'm oh man. To get Mike fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, hey, hold on. So, Go so, ahead. dude, I got to be honest. There was a there was an episode a while back where I actually said the word Oriental, and Fro and Major let me fucking have it, man. They were like, whoa! 
Uh, yeah, Hang it's, the it's, fuck it's, out. It's not, it's, not, it's not the correct term. You know no, it isn't, I, I've, I've said some ignorant things. You know, like, I think, I can't say 100% for a fact that everybody has, but I think it's a lot of people who have, you know, like being ignorant to the fact when it comes to other races and use terms that shouldn't be used. So at the same time, Mike, I'm not just knocking you, but you should I already know if you got to ask, to give you a word yeah. to fit in with niggas. You already know it ain't going to work. And then you felt like it was cool because you came and asked somebody who you probably think is a nigga who can tell you what's the correct thing for you to fit in. Oh, uh, I didn't true. even think about it. That's some common sense for your ass. <laughs> no right shit. There. That's some real Fuck shit. Fuck Mike, man. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we back to the West Coast, man. James from L.A., he said, my homeboy has a problem. The dude will sleep with any girl. I can vouch for that. I had a homeboy that was the same way. Dude said, no matter what she looks like, he said, or how many dudes she's been with, or who she's been with, or what she has. God damn. He said, it don't matter if her ass smells and she look like a damn troll, dude will hit it. Dude said, I need to get my homeboy under control, or he's going to kill himself. What do I do? <laughs> wow. That's James from L.A. Wow. Well, I'm going to tell you, James, this is going to probably sound crazy. You need to start hating. That's what you need to do. <laughs> you need to start hating. Now, now, I will say that if your homeboy is fucking bitches who got shit, that's being a good friend. And you need to Man. talk to him and tell him to cut that shit out. But worrying about how the bitch look he fucking, if he happy enough and feeling good enough to fuck that bitch to get his neck, let that motherfucker live his life. Because I would bet nine times out of ten, you ain't walking around with the baddest bitch to the damn self. Hell yeah. I'm just That's true. I, I, got a part, I got a partner who got them. Fuck all kind of fat bitches. He'll eat any goddamn bitch walking on the no, earth. Hey, no. he, he, he know the, he no. know the repercussions coming from this shit he doing. Oh. I ain't got nothing to say because that's the <laughs> shit that makes him happy when he wake up in the morning. So I just tell him, hey, cub, be safe out though. But I can't <laughs> say nothing about the ugly chick he fucking because a bitch that's ugly to me might be the best he can get or the best thing he feel like is for him. <laughs> so let your friend fuck as he pleases. At least he ain't fucking niggas and be happy at that fact. <laughs> he said he fucking niggas. <laughs> He's silly. I feel you, though, man. That's good shit, though. I mean, if you know the chick dirty, if she got the hives, then, yeah, that's 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 retarded. But, yeah, yeah. If, but if, you know, as far as looks go, yeah, to, to each his own. Everybody yeah, I mean, got let, let, let him do his thing. Like, it's like I said, if the bitch got something, I feel that. And that's being a good friend. You don't want your friend out here catching diseases and putting himself, you know, making himself susceptible to to things that might take his life or, or make him live uncomfortably for the rest of his life because you can't get rid of this disease or that disease. So I feel that. But caring about how the bitch look, that has nothing to do with you. <laughs> that's <laughs> almost gay. Hell yeah, borderline, for real. <laughs> and, and you know what's crazy? I would bet nine times out of ten, he didn't fuck one of them, but with him. <laughs> <laughs> you probably right. Hey, re real quick. I always say real quick, and it's never real quick. Um, did you? Could you hear the intro when we played it? Yeah, yeah, I can hear. I can hear real good. Okay. Do you want to yeah. hear a voicemail we got from one of the one yeah. of the previous shows? All right. Uh, what, what, what is, is it? A listener? Yeah, it's a listener. Yeah, she ain't okay, happy. Yeah. I mean, it's. I'm gonna let you let you be the judge because let us know if you heard it though. Yeah, here go right okay. here, man. All right. 